A medicinal product is defined as A. Any substance or combination of substances presented as having properties for treating or preventing disease in human beings. Or B. Any substance or combination of substances which may be used in or administered to human beings, either with a view to restoring, correcting or modifying physiological functions by exerting a pharmacological, immunological or metabolic action, or to making a medical diagnosis. Combination products are those products that combine both medical devices and pharmaceuticals. This implies that the product has both medical device and pharmaceutical components to it. But in many respects, the challenges for the company are the same. It is important when considering combination products to consider in the first instance the primary mode of action. How do you as a company expect the product to work? Or how do you expect it to achieve its primary purpose? The guidance document that should be used in determining the correct pathway for combination products is the MedDev Guidance 2.1-3 Third Revision, dated December 2009. This document provides both practical examples of these sorts of products, as well as outlining the routes to be taken to either achieve CE marking or product licensing. This guideline relates to the application of the Medical Device Directive, and to the demarcation between Directive 93-42-EEC on medical devices and Directive 65-65-EEC relating to medicinal products. As a guideline, this document cannot be expected to cover all potential eventualities and product developments. It is, as it suggests, a guideline. Of course, product development often moves faster than the regulator can produce guidelines. So, when reading this guideline, it is critical to realize that for the most recent developments, there is no substitute for dialoguing with the regulator. In doing so, however, and as noted previously, it is important to have a company strategy in mind and to document how you believe the product will be used and how it achieves this purpose. In many instances, the regulator will recognize that the company is indeed the expert when it comes to technology and so it is important to make sure you have a solid story and sound scientific judgment.